Forms are everywhere on the web. You might have interacted with HTML forms on websites like Amazon, eBay, Yahoo, and Google. The use of form on a page is a higher level phase of web development to collect information from visitors. Whether it's through registration forms, mailing lists, site searches, or online ordering, forms facilitate interaction between organizations or individuals with their clients or end users. Let's take Amazon as an example. You visit Amazon's website as a buyer and don't verbally tell Amazon to find an item. Instead, you interact with a form containing form controls in the shape of a search text box and a search button. You enter your search text into the text box, click the search button, and get the results in a clean list format that you can quickly browse through. From a seller's perspective, the process is slightly more complex, but again, involves forms and form controls. When you want to sell an item on Amazon's website, the first step is to register as a seller. During the registration process, you'll see a form with numerous form controls that collect different types of information from you. In HTML you use form tag to create a form, all form controls reside inside this tag. Every form tag requires an action attribute which specifies where to send the form data when a form is submitted. You also use forms method attribute to send or retrieve data to or from server. This attribute can have either a get or a post value. The get method is the default and is used when you want to retrieve something from the server, while the post method is used to manipulate information on the server. The elements you can use in your web form include text and password fields, drop down list, radio buttons, check boxes, text area button, and file input to upload a file.